all right welcome back so <clears throat> we're still in a bone section um, right now we're just gonna do a few terms about bones and then I think we can do the muscular system if I'm not mistaken I think we are very close all right so uh, let's talk a little bit about uh, joints all right so a joint is essentially any connection that where you have two or more items connected um, the general purpose of a bone is not only just for support but also a lot for movement without bones you can have all the muscles in the world but you, you're not moving all right so there needs to be a connection all right so um, when it comes to bones or um, excuse me when it comes to joints or in other words articulation articulation all right um, some parts of the body are movable some are immovable all right so let's go over a few items quickly all right um, so when uh, they come together we refer to that as able to articulate all right so that is what a joint does right the, the connection um, where they meet they articulate right <clears throat> these articulation um, points form joints that have different degrees of uh, movability or mobility right B ability to move uh, so let's say for those that are able to move uh, freely right the term here is dia remember through I think you may have remembered or maybe you don't remember um, throsis right diathrosis so this is a completely movable or freely movable um, joint all right if that actually let me not even keep take that off I can just take it off from the end Die, uh, okay. If it's only slightly movable, then we call it MP arthrosis, right? MP arthrosis, right? If it is completely immovable, right? Then let's take this off. Then we simply call it as sin arthrosis, all right? So we went from um, completely movable dia. And then we went to um, slightly movable MP, and now we are at not movable at all. All right, so that's essentially the. These are some of the key terms that um, you may see on a quiz. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Now, um, the joints also allow for movement. All right, um, when the joints allow for movement, uh, you call this synovial joints. And wherever you have synovial joints, you should also have synovial fluid. All right. So if you were to do arthro, right, synthesis, as you guys remember when we did uh, suffixes, synthesis means the removal of. So if you have arthro, which is joint, all right. So we, um, removal of fluid, right. And specifically in this case, we will be removing uh, synovial fluid from the synovial joint. All right. So you see how everything is quickly coming together. All right. Um, what else can we talk about synovium? Um, we already talked about synovium. So let's move on. We're going to get into some terms that you're going to find on. Um, <clears throat> these are not just general bone terms, but general, I guess you can say, skeletal uh, system term. System term. Hey, who's that? Uh, system term. All right. So uh, if you have something ankle, all right. Now this is going to be pure medical terminology, so there is no further explanation besides what you was given. All right, so it's, if you have something like ankle, all right, that means we're talking about. Uh, actually, let me just keep these. I'm not even going to erase them because you might be uh, trying to keep up with them. All right, so ankle, all right, and what I'll do is let me give it a bullet so it makes it a little bit easier to track it. All right, so bullet and explanation at the end of it. All right, so you're talking about something that's stiff, uh, bent, right, or um, crooked. Uh, comma. All right, something that's no, not crooked. Something that's crooked. All right. For instance, if I would say ankylosis, that would mean I'm talking about condition, some abnormal condition of uh, bent stiffness or crookedness. All right. Uh, let's go on. Let's go back here and give you the next one. Uh, let's say um, kyph because we are we didn't talk about some of the bone diseases. Actually, we will talk about some of the bone diseases. So you get to see kyph again. All right. So um, when we talk about kyph, all right, we talk about a lump back or a hump. Ah, lump back. What am I saying? A hump back. All right. Um. So this would be the explanation. Let me put it down so I can keep the same. I, I don't like when the structure is not the same. All right. So 
even though that forced me to have to go back like this, but that's fine. Um, and you see this as well, along with when we talk about this. So Lord, um, and this is not the Lord. Uh, curve. All right. Let's open up a new one here. Okay. And we're still talking about terms. Uh, so let's say something like auto, because that's another disease that we're going to talk about. Autopenia, right? ability to um, comfortable only breathing upright position or straight position. All right. So that means that this is auto is straight. straight. Come on. And let's go back one more time. Uh, let's say we already mentioned a few. Of, uh, so we're not going to talk about those. Uh, another disease that we talk about would be scoli. Uh, it's in scoliosis. All right. So if we talk about scoli, that means again you're talking about crooked. And here, when we talk about a different disease, you will see um, what I mean by that. All right, so let's go back here one more time. Um, what else do you think? We already this will already make sense to you because we talked about it. All right, so thorax, uh, chest. All right, let's open up another one. Okay. Um, let's see. You're gonna see this uh, quite a lot uh, if you get into nursing, um, breaky. All right, so we will talk about that's arm. All right. So by anti I think we mentioned we talked about brachial, uh, anti-cubital um, brachialis and all. Well, actually, we didn't talk about muscles, so I guess yeah, we'll talk. About, we'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. Um, what else should we mention here while we're here? Uh, clavicule. Uh, again, some of these medical terms are so very simple. Clavicule. What would that be? Clavicle. Right. Clavicle. All right. So again, some of these terms are so sensible. Uh, if you talk about cranny, obviously. Right, talk about the skull. Right, let's open up another one here. Uh, we talk about cervix. We I think we already mentioned cervix a few times. All right, so that would be talking about the neck. Let's go back. We talked about cost already. All right, so we're referring to the ribs when we talk about cost. All right, so let's go back. Um, oh, something that we haven't talked about. Maybe you find this one interesting. Dactyl. All right, when you talk about dactyl, you're talking about the fingers or the toes. Right, so that's something that we haven't talked about yet. Right, dactyl. Um, so you, I can say you have um, dactylitis. All right? That would just be an inflammation of the fingers or the toes. Right, sounds interesting. Uh, let's open up another one there. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, if I say fibule, fibula. Right, uh, so I don't really need to give you the explanation for that one. Uh, now, this is one here that I should give an explanation to. When we say illy with the eye, all right, do not confuse that with uh, let me just write it with the not ilium. Do not confuse ilium with illy, um, all right, with the e here. Let the e be a reminder that you are talking about the small intestine, and in fact, the root word for the small intestine is the word. Uh, actually, let me write it down for you. And the root word for the small intestine, and why do I always put uh, as there? I don't, I'm not sure why. Intestine is enter. All right, so the word here, e, let it be a reminder that you're referring to the e here. All right. Uh, whereas when we talk about ileum, right, with the eye, let it be a reminder to you that we were talking about the hip bone, so the eye here. Very, very simple and quick way to kind of differentiate those two because I see that a lot of students have issue with the ileum, the I, and the E. All right. Um, since you already talked about ileum, I guess you might as well mention ischi. Uh, we already did parts of the um, pelvic girdle. Right? We talked about the ileum, the ischium, uh, and I think the pubis also, if I'm not mistaken. Right? I think we did that. All right. So uh, let's do a few more terms. These terms. Are kind of sensible, so I'm just going to erase them and not go to another table. There, uh, so lump, all right, um, loins or your lower, right? right, something like loins or something that's lower, all right. So if I have a lump ego, all right, lump ego, that'll be lower back pain, all right, lump ego. Let me differentiate that over there for you, okay? Um, we talked about metacarp. All right, so that would be your metacarp. All right, all right so that would be uh, your um, palm. I we talked about right. Your hand bones. Um, actually, let me leave that since that was not one of the easy parts that we did. So I'll leave that up, and I'll go to a patel. I don't believe we talked about the kneecap. All right, but the kneecap is patella. 
right? So if you were to say Patel, that would be referring to the um, the kneecap. Uh, if you talked about pelv, we talk, I think we, we talk, talked about pelvis already. So if you said pelv, that means we talked about the pelvis girdle. Um, we talked about phalan, as in phalanges. All right, so if you talk about plant phalan, that means we talk about the fingers, the bones, bones of the fingers and of the toes. All right. Um, let me see something else that maybe you haven't talked about yet. Uh, that might be my peak of interest. Uh, spondyle. All right. That might peak of interest. That's the vertebrae. All right. Vertebrae. Okay. And of the sternum, we talked actually we talked about the sternum. I pointed out the mandibrium, the top portion, and also the uh, the xiphoid process at the bottom. All right. So if you talk about sternum, that means you are talking about sternum. All right. So once again, you see how all the difference that's really made is the pertaining to word that is kind of changing the uh, core definition of this term. Uh, <clears throat> since we are I'm trying to go down alphabetical order here, uh, so let's see. Let's do T, uh, tibia. All right, so that's very simple. If you added the A, tibia. Uh, <clears throat> all right, so uh, next time when I see you, I'm going to talk when I see you because I won't be seeing you. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit more about bone diseases. All right, so we can do some bone fractures, bone disease, and more terms. Oh, actually, you know what? Maybe we can do a few more terms while we're here. All right, uh, let's say maybe a few more um, like disease related terms maybe or maybe I'll wait for us to finish and I think I'll wait yeah okay I'll wait so I'll see you later